Welcome back to my next Big Bang Theory Season 10 episode review video. Before I get into that, though, pretty important if you are caught up to the point where I am in rewatching or watching the Big Bang Theory, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which of course I'll mention, as well as put in the description. If that happens to be the case, you found like you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. And this will be The Big Bang Theory Season 10, Episode 2. The title of this episode is called The Military Miniaturization. And this will be my review, reaction, recap after just finishing watching the episode. So we start off with Sheldon talking about Elon Musk. And Elon Musk has a theory that they're all in an advanced... Uh, they're all advanced characters in a video game. And Leonard mentions some alien kid spent his money on asthma and glasses upgrade for his character. And Sheldon says he doesn't say it's a good game. Uh, Howard and Raj arrive and Howard says we've got a problem. The Air Force contacted me about our quantum gyroscope. Uh, they want to have a meeting. And then they mention the uh, Colonel Williams, of course, of course, played by Dean Norris of Breaking Bad. Hank from Breaking Bad. And Howard wants a big payday so he can make as much money as Bernadette. That way he doesn't have to try so hard in bed. And Bernadette is worried about Howard. She also is mad that someone at the office mentioned to people that she's pregnant. And Penny says it wasn't her, as she told her not to tell anybody. And Sheldon says they, they don't need a lawyer for this military stuff. Uh, we have me. And Bernadette's got to go talk to her boss uh, about this upcoming thing that's going on. And Penny tells Amy that it was her that blabbed that Bernadette's pregnant. And Howard gets his cousin on Skype. Howard's cousin is a lawyer. And Sheldon says, you don't need him. I'll represent you. Uh, Bernadette wants to get back at her co-worker that blabbed. Uh, at least she thinks that her co-worker blabbed. It was a co-worker, but it's not the one she thinks it is. And she's like plotting her revenge. And then Penny reluctantly confesses that it was her that told everyone uh, that she was pregnant. Colonel Williams shows up at the, the guy's lab. And Sheldon's not supposed to talk. And Williams mentions that he's an engineer. And he went to MIT. And Sheldon is very eager to uh, speak about this. And then Williams mentions it's not like you're handing out us the Death Star from Star Trek. And that really gets Sheldon going. He can't help himself and contain himself any longer. And then he mentions that he's the real brains of the op operation. Engineers aren't really scientists. MIT is a trade school. And the Death Star was from Star Wars, not Star Trek. And then Amy goes to see Bernadette. She says she's worked so hard to get where she is. And then Penny learns that Sheldon's making Leonard lemon bars because he's mad at him. And she tells Sheldon that uh, Bernadette's mad at her. And then Bernadette goes to see Penny at Penny's place. She says she wants to apologize. She says that Penny's a great liar. Uh, Bernadette threatened to sue if they don't let her run the research project, even though she's pregnant. And Howard and Leonard have access to like a special place, uh, a limited place or no access place. It actually has a retina scanner and Sheldon's access is denied. So Howard has Leonard and Sheldon hold him upside down to just show that he gets access granted from that way as well. And that's what ends this episode of The Big Bang Theory. So, uh, okay stuff here. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. As far as my character the episode goes, well, the whole, you know, correcting the military colonel uh, was hilarious. So Sheldon is the character of the episode. And then, as many of you know, I actually rate Penny because Penny's the reason why I saw the big, well, I continued to watch The Big Bang Theory after I saw her on screen. For this episode, I'm going to give her an 8.3 out of 10. So you've heard everything that I have to say now. It's your turn if you're a fan of The Big Bang Theory and you want to help me out with this YouTube algorithm. Please make sure that you Hulk smash the like button. Otherwise, I'll send Howard Wallowitz after you, and he's a bit creepy sometimes. And remember that I cover a lot of stuff on this channel. I have playlists with a bunch of stuff. The Last of Us, Dexter, Lucifer, Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, The Walking Dead, UFC, Fight Reaction, Movie Ranking Videos, the whole kit and caboodle. Check out my playlist. I'm sure there's more than one thing that you'll like besides the Big Bang Theory. Share the video with a friend. Put this video on any one of your social media platforms. Don't forget to sound off in the comment section about 
what your thoughts are on this episode of The Big Bang Theory. What would you rate this episode? And who, if you had to choose, would be your character of the episode? And of course, if you want to rate Penny like I do, you can give Penny a score. You don't have to. It's just something I do to add to the episode. And then last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. You are watching the video anyway. Subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your damn support, and be a part of something special, and you never know what you're going to see on JDev TV.